Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the moon card so this is Pisces energy okay so you could be dealing with a Pisces or even a cancer with this energy this is a, an energy of someone hiding um, keeping something from you secrets hiding their emotions their feelings from you and feeling as if there is this is an illusion it's, you know there is something that's not being revealed here and um, someone's truth is being hidden from you. You're being kept in the dark on a situation. And I do see that your intuition could really help you in the situation. You may be feeling something is, um, you know, feeling like you're, there's something that you're not aware of or something that's not being um, shown to you right now. This could also um, signify the full moon that's coming up in your sign, Virgo. There could be some important revelation or news that comes out at that time. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Virgo. Okay, so next we have the Queen of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And next we have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally we have the Fool card, Aquarius Aries energy. Okay, so with that um, Queen of Swords, I see you turning your back towards anyone who is bringing a sense of confusion to your world. There is someone who is confusing you, someone who is giving you this idea that things are one way and then acting as if they're another way. And this is causing a lot of confusion, tension. This person is doing this because they don't want you to know their true feelings. They're trying to hide their feelings. And there are some secrets there as well from that person. I do see this person has very deep and intense feelings for you, but there is something about it that almost as if there is a bit of a forbidden energy when it comes to that person. So this person, they would rather operate on the low. They don't want um, their feelings being exposed right now. And I do see that you're seeing through that with that Queen of Swords energy. This is you adopting a no-nonsense attitude towards this person, turning your back towards this person because you're realizing that this person is playing some sort of game. It feels like this person is trying to deceive you or confuse you. And I see that you, you're you demanding answers from this person and they're not giving them. So I do see that you're eventually turning your back to this, po this person with that Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is also an energy of cutting something or someone out. So you may be even cutting this relationship out or cutting this person out because you feel like you can't trust this person. And the Queen of Swords is very wise. Um, very logical person so you may feel um, emotionally tied to this person but um, em um, mentally you may feel like you know it would be foolish to trust this person so I see that you're going to do um, choose a head over heart decision here and just turn your back to this person because you feel that it's not safe to invest in someone who who seems to be keeping secrets from you so I see you turning your back from this person and being quite you're going to also be quite honest with this person very direct blunt energy as well the queen of swords can even sometimes come across a bit harsh or cold but this is an energy of you um only wanting truth so not entertaining people who seem to be giving this idea of you know there's some confusion confusing things going on over there and you feel like you can't trust the person so i see that you're going to do that head over heart decision and turn your back to that person and also looking at the situation very objectively and deciding that maybe it wouldn't be um 
advisable for you to put your eggs in that basket so i see that you're 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 focusing more on other things and with that nine of pentacles energy that is a very independent energy so you're embodying a more um self-sufficient energy you may be um resting in a more single kind of energy right now focusing more on yourself giving yourself that self-love and not engaging with this person for a while and just cultivating your own spiritual awareness and self-love and i see that you're doing quite well for yourself you're making yourself proud in some way you're achieving some goals and um there is abundant energy around you as well so you're becoming very spiritual and also prospering on the material realm as well with that nine of pentacles and um you're looking very attractive as well. I see this person doesn't have access to you. With that Queen of Swords, this could also be blocked communication. So you may be blocking the communication from this person. Um, it's almost like you're just cutting this person out. And, and this person is still very, very deep in their emotions is what I'm seeing. This person is showing up as very sensitive, but also very secretive. So I do see that you, you, you don't, you're not, you don't have time for that and you're not entertaining that person. And with the full card, this is you um, wanting to embark on a new journey, trying something new and, um, you know, having hope and faith, being optimistic and happy about life, trying something new. You may be um, just moving away from this person altogether and you may be putting yourself out there, meeting new people, or you could just be going down more of a self-love journey. And with that Queen of Swords, I do see that there is not, there's not much hard feelings here on your part. The Queen of Swords is very objective, you know, very logical. So I do see that you're not operating too much from being emotional, a place of being emotional, but this person is showing up as being very emotional right now and drowning in their emotions this person i don't think they um they want to tell you the, the truth right now but they also don't want you to cut them out but i see you not giving this person your energy right now okay so let's clarify these cards Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with any of these signs. This could be a card of someone who's very supportive, open, generous, and stable. So you could be attracting this person or you could be becoming this person because you are showing up also as that Nine of Pentacles energy. So I see you being very... Um, prosperous at this time having a lot to offer you're very focused on developing personal developments and improving yourself and I see you ach achieving some sort of goal that puts you in a place of higher self-esteem where you feel very proud of yourself and feeling like you have a lot of abundance as well there is a lot of abundance energy on your part and I do see this person also seeing you as this um, king of pentacles person someone who is this person could also see you as someone who is a bit higher than them feeling um, you know like you've got so much to offer and that you're an ideal person a partner and that you're very stable this person sees you as very stable and almost um, nonchalant or um, disconnected from your emotions they see you as a bit stoic and they this is very contrasted to their feelings because they feel like they feel like they're drowning in their emotions and they feel like you don't have much emotion towards them so i do see this person feeling a bit um you know emotionally unstable right now emotionally insecure and they see you as very stoic because how they see you and detached and even cold as well with that queen of swords energy okay so the first card we have here is the ten of pentacles this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next, we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Okay, so with that Ten of Pentacles, I am seeing that you're more focused on, you know, practical matters, material abundance and success. 
You want that. You want a happily ever after with someone. You want um, a partner who you can trust and you can be with for the long term. Someone that you can have a legacy with. Someone who you can, you know, build an empire, have family and also get money together with. I see that there is a, a focus on the material abundance right now on your parts. You're very, that's something that you're very focused on right now. And also on your self-esteem and your personal image, your self-improvement. You're very focused on that right now and very practical and very grounded so i do see that you're not very emotional right now and um with that two of swords i also see you being very closed off to this person so you're not re you're not really entertaining love right now you're very focused on other things like your career and your money and your you know your work and with that um two of swords this is again you blocking this person from accessing you so this person has no access to you they see you as very cold because of that so, and this person they're actually they're going through a lot over this this is really emotionally this is destroying them they're they're buried in their emotions right now this person um they want access to you it's driving them crazy to feel like you know you've cut them off or that you're closed off from them they want to um be in your life they don't want you to leave them but they it's almost like they can't even reach out to you because there is blocked access so they can't come towards you and this person they still think very highly of you they put you on a pedestal but it's um also causing them to feel like um you're untouchable they feel like they're beneath you or that you're you know you're showing up as very confident and they're very attracted to you and i do see that you're also developing a lot you're improving you're making a lot of progress in your um your journey and you're also developing into this queen of wands energy where you're feeling more confident in yourself and um you're not settling for anyone you know who's keeping secrets from you or someone who you feel like you cannot trust or someone who tries to paint an illusion in your image in your relationship so i do see that you're actually taking a break from this person or you may be even moving away from this person altogether there is a lot of abundance here for you but i see that you're very um you're just not giving this person the time of day and this person there it, it looks like they could be suffering with that moon card they're drowning in their emotions and I do see that they 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 don't want you to turn away from them. So I see this person is going through a lot right now. But you're very um you're very focused on your 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 journey. Um you're glowing up. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye Virgo.